Hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add normal maps to 3D models, which um, is actually like really cool. Like it makes every single model look way more realistic. So it's really easy. All you are going to do is you're just going to add a 3D camera right here and then open the 3D camera and you're gonna add here inside of it a 3D model and you can just get a model from my 3D model pack but I think I'm just gonna choose how about um, Armadrillo why not and just turn on the animation and bring him closer a bit a bit here just adjust a bit now sometimes the model do the models do need textures and it's easy just add them here but make sure you hide them using this and then you can just add them from material and then you choose so yeah you can actually like adjust this a bit if you like to like increase this and make this a bit smaller but yeah so it's really easy from here you just want to adjust your lighting you know like just change a bit of stuff and make it like a bit brighter why not and you can add like a background this is all like covered in my tutorial on how to add 3d models on top of the videos and stuff which uh, you can check it out in the description everything you're gonna need is in the description of this video but you're just gonna duplicate the 3d camera not the 3D model, the 3D camera. And you're going to take the one that's on top. And you're going to add. And then image. And then media image. And you're just going to import a normal map. Which I am going to leave a description for. Like a folder that's full of normal maps. Which uh, these normal maps are pretty good. Also, in my updated model packs, some models that have their own uh, normal maps, the normal map is with the model. So, this is basically the same way you add textures. Just go to the model, click self, click image, and then make sure to hide it. But, you're going to go to the uh, image, add, asset store, go to stylize, and then this one, emboss. Just gonna add it then you're gonna turn on this black and white thing now you don't need to turn on the invert as well but if you want you can and now this allows us to make it black and white and also you can adjust the contrast and this relief which is really good to like make it so that it's not like too much normal maps which also Lowering this a bit does also like make it a little bit more realistic. And then you're just gonna go to the actual like camera, add, effect, blending. This is also where you lower the opacity and stuff. Uh, you're gonna go to blend mode and you're just gonna make sure that you select multiply. And you're just gonna take this down a bit. And then maybe like increase the contrast if you want the normal map to appear more you just want to increase the contrast want to make it more realistic lower this a bit but not too much to the point where you can't really see it and then uh, you just want to make sure that this is like at least lowered like a tiny bit doesn't need to be that much and you uh, now you can see it makes everything like dark and you can just fix that by increasing the lighting on this model and on this one too and then boom and yeah and if you want to decrease the normal maps you just decrease this you want to increase it as much as you can just make this a one and the lowest with it still like kind of appearing it's probably like this like 25 but like this is pretty good like you can like change some stuff change the contrast change this change the direction the direction uh, make it invert and yeah and uh, then once you're done you're just gonna add a group 
And then you're gonna put this and this inside of it. And you just uh, act it out as if this is like basically just like one camera. Just to like, uh, if you wanna add like uh, a little bit of a glow to it, don't like add the glow to both of them. Just put them in a group and add the glow. This is also really good for the transformation effect. But um, yeah, that's basically it. And you can just just make sure that if you're adding any sort of like animation or stuff to this model uh, or this model, make sure that the two are exactly the same. It's just that this has to have that texture and uh, a little bit of uh, lighting increase. But make sure that anything else is the exact same. Like. They're in the exact same place. You want them to be the exact same rotation. Just so they're basically on top of each other. Also, you can add like a bit of uh, animation to them. So like animation here. Here. But just make sure that you don't add it to just one model. To the both of them. The one with the normal map. The one without it. And yep. So this add it to here. And here. Yep, just to uh, make sure they're the same. Or if you're like adding like keyframes to the movement or stuff, you want them to like keep jumping around. You can just like go to the movement of the one that has the keyframe. Go to these three dashes. Go to copy. You're just gonna copy it. Paste. It. So let's say like I wanna like increase it a bit, but I don't wanna like seriously like copy all the numbers. Change the rotation. You can just click here, click copy, go to the model of the normal map or the other model that doesn't have the, the same ones. Same thing, but instead of pressing copy, you're going to press paste. And you can see that doesn't look good, but if you go to root, and there we go. And one thing that you can add is instead of making the entire model have a normal map, if you want it to be a specific place, you just want to choose this lighting on the normal map model. So now, any part, you can like change the lighting. So you can see like, it looks like only this top part has a normal map and this is just normal. Which actually makes it like a bit more realistic and it's a really cool effect. And um, you can add like a background or whatever, just make like a solid color. Or gradient, added an image or whatever, music, whatever you want. But uh, yeah. <laughs>